Hey everybody, Bo here. Hey, in this video, we are gonna try and solve my Odeo speedometer going out problem. Electric sent me a controller, so this is the next step in trying to fix this problem. So we are going to put this, which is located in here, and away we go. Stay tuned. <laughs> So uh, Electric sent me a new controller, which is located in here. So I'm going to have to uh, break it in half, almost fold it, and undo some screws. And then you uh, replace one wire at a time. Uh, the company's been fantastic. I'm just happy that this will fix the odometer, speedometer, not working problem. So I'm going to unfold this and uh, kind of anchor it on here. Uh, I'm going to take out the key. Whenever I fold my bike, I always take out the key and put it in my pocket just so it doesn't get in the way and I don't have to worry about it. I know where it's at. And then when I use it, I put it back in. So let's get this job done, huh? Okay, I just want you to know this is not a tutorial. I'm just kind of showing you where it's located. I'm going to do it, speed it up, then put it back together again, and hopefully this problem will be fixed. Electric has a fantastic video geared to changing this, so that's the video you should watch because it's by the manufacturer. Very well done, easy to follow. Uh, I've watched it a couple times, so now I'm going to do it, and let's get this job done. All right, there you go. So uh, here is the plate and then the controller is nice, neatly tucked right here. So we are going, so we are going to switch these one by one over uh, off of the old and into the new. Well, this was taped, so I'm going to also tape it. You do want to grab from each side of the plug, not, not from the wires. You want to grip the plugs, because if you grip the wires, there's a chance you can pull the wires out. So you don't want to do that. So here we go. Okay, gang, it is the moment of truth. So I'm going to do a quick test by uh, holding up the back wheel and just using the throttle. Let's see if we get a reading here. Oh, yeah, look at that. It is working. It fixed the problem. So I am back up and running. And uh, this makes me really happy because now we can see speed and everything to go along with the... Uh, pedal assists and how far we've gone so uh, I do want to thank you for watching I'm so happy this is done and hey I want to get two plugs here if you have not checked out Jeremiah McIntosh's channel you should everything and anything you want to know about this bike he's very detailed oriented and does a great job explaining some uh, different upgrades to the bike like uh, hydraulic brakes and uh, so on and so forth 
So, uh, and uh, also electricbikereview.com. If you've not been on that site, you should definitely check it out because anything and everything about uh, e-bikes is on there and it's uh, pretty amazing. They have some great forums uh, for this bike as well, the Electric XP. So the forums are really valuable on there as well. So uh, we're gonna take it for a ride and uh, check it out. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it is fixed, so. Okay. Hey, uh, one thing I've noticed, this new controller, everything's working great. The new controller seems to be a little more peppier. Uh, second, man, you just really feel it when it kicks in. As far as voltage, it seems to be using lower. And when you get into the higher, uh, I've had it like kick it down a little bit. So there, you know, there's probably some safety there, which I can totally understand. So uh, all is good. I'm excited, so happy that this is working. Oh, you have no idea. I definitely noticed that uh, two is definitely more peppier. So I guess bottom line, treat this like your car. Don't abuse it. You know, watch your current, make sure that you uh, stay in the lower current and you're not up on the high stuff on the 18, 19. So, you know, it seems like the controller has some nice built-in safeties. So, but uh, keep an eye on that current when you're going up those hills or on along straight away. Other than that, you are going to love this bike. It is so much fun. It will definitely make you feel like a kid again. But I want you to remember one thing. You're not. <laughs> Whoa. So, you know. It is fun, though, because... You feel like you're in the Tour de France. All right, check it out. I'm in one, pedal assist one, fifth gear, and I have it on current. I don't know if you can see very good. I bump it up to two, it goes up to six. It went back down to three, two. I go up to three, it really jumps, but man, it jumped up and then came back down. Beautiful day in Colorado today. I'll tell you what, this bike is fantastic. So much fun again. I can't say that enough. I'm just happy I can go anywhere I want to go now on it. And happy to have all the functions back, so. Anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in. If you could do me a favor, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and feel free to share. I thank you for spending a little time with Bo. Until next time, hopefully it'll be from somewhere other than this, maybe the Badlands. Until next time, see ya.